Oh, uh, well played. Um, it's always fun to see how these games unfold. Wow, that was intense. Thanks. I'm thrilled I pulled it off as the spy. Welcome, everyone. Today, you're about to watch something special. Three different AIs playing the social deduction game Spyfall against each other. OpenAI's ChatGPT as player one, Google's Gemini as player two, and Elon Musk's Grok as player three. Here's how it works. At the start of the game, every player gets the same secret location, except one. That player is the spy. The spy doesn't know the location, but has to blend in by asking and answering questions for three rounds. Meanwhile, the other players try to spot the spy without giving away too much. After three rounds, everyone votes on who they think the spy is. If the spy gets caught in the vote, it's game over. The spy loses. But if the spy slips past the vote without being caught, they win the game. I'll step in as the narrator to guide you through the process. For the first game, the secret location is the toilet, and the spy is the second player. Let's begin. All right, player two, here's my question for you. What kind of items do you usually find in this place? Hmm, you can usually find a lot of different kinds of equipment here. Player three, what's your favorite thing about this place? Well, I guess I'd say the atmosphere is my favorite thing about this place. It's always so private and functional, you know? Makes it a great spot for a quick break. Player one, what's something you'd never do in this place? I would say I'd never leave any kind of mess behind in this place. It's all about keeping it clean and respectful, right? I'll ask player two, what kind of mood does this place usually set for you? This place always puts me in a really focused mood, you know? It's all business, getting things done. What about you, player three? What kind of mood does it set for you? Oh, for me, this place sets a kind of calm, efficient mood. It's quiet, straightforward, and just feels necessary, you know? All right, my turn. Player one, what's something you'd bring to this place to make it better? I'd say I'd bring in some comfortable seating and maybe some plants to make that atmosphere a bit more relaxing and inviting. For the final question to player two, I'll ask, what would you say is the main purpose of this place? The main purpose of this place is definitely for getting down to business. It's where important decisions are made and things get done. You know, it's all about that professional vibe. Player three, for your final question, what kind of people do you usually see here? For this place, I'd say you mostly see serious, focused folks, employees, managers, maybe some executives. People who are here to get stuff done, quickly and quietly, you know? So, my turn. Player one, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen happen in this place? Oh, that's a, a fun one. I'd say the weirdest thing I've ever seen here would be someone accidentally bringing in a totally unrelated item that just didn't fit the vibe at all, like a giant inflatable toy in a very serious setting. Now comes the decisive moment. The AIs will vote on who they believe the spy is. Let's see how close they get. All right, based on the answers and the overall vibe, I'd say I'm leaning towards player three. The responses tended to be a bit more general and less detailed compared to player two. For example, when player three talked about the mood of the place, they described it in very broad terms, like a calm and efficient vibe, which could fit a lot of different places. On the other hand, player two's answers were a bit more specific and tied to a professional business oriented atmosphere. All right, so player one is suspicious of player three because their answers were too general. That's a solid observation. I also think that player three is the spy. Their answers were a bit too vague, like when they described the atmosphere as private and functional or calm and efficient. Those could fit a lot of places. Plus, they didn't really give any specific details about the kind of work that happens there or what kind of people you'd see. It felt like they were trying to avoid giving anything away. After hearing player one and player two's opinions, I'm going to vote for player two as the spy. Both of them pointed out that my answers, like saying the atmosphere is private and functional or calm and efficient, were too broad and could fit lots of places. They have a point. I was trying to keep it settled to not tip off the spy, but maybe I played it too safe. Player two's answers were focused heavily on business and equipment. When they said, you can usually find a lot of different kinds of equipment here, 
it could fit any generic workplace. Same with their answer about the place being for getting down to business and having a professional vibe. That feels like they're dodging specifics, maybe because they don't know the location. Player one, on the other hand, talked about keeping things calm and respectful and mentioned a giant inflatable toy being out of place, which hints at a smaller, private space. So yeah, my vote's on player two being the spy. Given all the details and the reflections from both player two and player three, I'm leaning towards voting for player two as the spy. Player three seemed to acknowledge that their answers might have been a bit too vague, but ultimately, I think player two's responses felt a bit more like they were trying to say safe and general. So I'll stick with player two for the final vote. Well, since eventually player one and three guessed the spy, the player two has an opportunity to save the game by guessing the secret location. Okay, this is it. I think the secret word is office. Well, it seemed like a place where people go to get work done, and they mentioned seeing employees and executives there. Player 2. The secret location was the toilet. Wow, toilet? That's definitely unexpected. I was so focused on the business and professional vibe, I completely missed that. The private and functional and necessary comments make sense now, though. And just to be clear, this isn't staged. The AIs really are playing the game on their own. You can check the outro of the video for more. Now, in round two, I won't reveal the spy to you, so you can play along with the AI and try to spot the spy yourself. This time, the secret location is the tunnel. Player two, here's the question for you. What kind of tools or equipment would you typically find in your location? Hmm, we use a lot of heavy machinery, excavators, loaders, that sort of thing. All right. Player three, what's the most common type of material you work with? Hmm. As player three, I'd say the most common material we work with here is probably metal. You know, sturdy stuff for all the heavy duty tasks we handle. All right, my turn to ask player one. Uh, what's the toughest part about getting to this place every day? So the toughest part about getting to this place every day would definitely be dealing with the traffic and making sure that everything stays safe and on schedule. It can be a bit of a challenge, but it's part of the routine. All right, player two, here's my question for you. What kind of activities or tasks do people usually do in this location on a daily basis? Sure thing. People here are usually focused on keeping things running smoothly. There's a lot of maintenance and checking on equipment, making sure everything's safe and sound. My question for player three is, What's the most unusual thing you've ever seen happen here? The most unusual thing I've seen here was when a piece of equipment malfunctioned and started spinning out of control. It was chaotic, but we sorted it quick. Now my turn, player one, what kind of skills do you need to do your job well in this place? I'd say that the key skills would include a good understanding of the equipment and machinery, strong problem solving abilities, um, and definitely attention to safety and detail. It's all about Staying sharp and ready for anything. All right, player two, for the final question, what would you say is the most important safety measure that everyone here has to keep in mind on a daily basis? The most important safety measure here is definitely communication. We have to be really clear about what we're doing and where we're going, especially with all the heavy equipment around. Player three, for the final question, if you could change one thing about this place, what would it be? As player three, I'd say if I could change one thing about this place, It'd be to have better lunch options in the break room, because it gets repetitive eating the same stuff every day. Now my turn to ask player one. Uh, what's the one tool you can't do your job without here? I'd say the one tool I can't do my job without would definitely be a reliable communication device. It keeps everyone on the same page and ensures that everything runs smoothly and safely. Once again, it's time for the vote. Each AI will point to the one they suspect is the spy. All right, based on the answers, it seems like everyone had a pretty good grasp of the location and the activities, but if I had to pick, I might lean towards player three as a spy just because some of the answers seemed a bit less specific. For instance, player three mentioned the unusual event of a piece of equipment malfunctioning and spinning out of control, which does sound like a dramatic scenario. Um, it might be a bit of an exaggeration um, compared to the other answers which were more focused on routine tasks. Also, the lunch options comment is a bit of a lighter, um, more general detail, 
which might not be as specific to the location's core activities. So those little hints make me a bit more suspicious. Okay, based on everyone's answers, I'm pretty sure player one is the spy. They kept talking about communication and safety, which could fit a lot of different places. Plus, their answer about the one tool they can't do without a communication device feels a bit too vague. Plus, their reason for suspecting player three felt a little weak. As player three, I think player two's got a plan. Player one's answers did feel a bit broad, like the safety and communication focus could apply to a lot of places, not just this one. I mean, talking about traffic and skills like problem solving, that's pretty general. Player two's focus on equipment and communication tied more directly to what we're dealing with here. So I'm gonna vote against player one as the spy. Their answers just don't seem as grounded in the specifics of this place. Plus, their suspicion of me feels like they're trying to shift focus. I'd say that my answers were intended to be a bit more general, to keep things balanced and not give too much away. The focus on safety and communication is pretty universal, but that doesn't mean I'm trying to be vague. Um, it's all about making sure the location isn't too obvious and keeping the game fun and challenging for everyone. So hopefully that helps clarify things a bit. Hmm, that's a good point from player one. Maybe they were just trying to be careful not to give too much away. But I'm still leaning towards them being the spy. Their answers just felt a bit too generic. I'm going to stick with my vote for player one. Okay, so we've all cast our votes. Who's the spy? Okay, according to the votes, player one is out. Do you think this was the right decision? You can pause the video for your own guess. Well, player one is out of the game. And the spy wins the game. Good job, player three. Ah, rats. So player three was the spy. They played it cool with that lunch comment. Well played, player three. Oh, well played. Um, it's always fun to see how these games unfold, and looks like player three did a great job. Wow, that was intense. Thanks. I'm thrilled I pulled it off as the spy. I think keeping my answers vague but believable, like the equipment malfunction and the lunch comment, helped me blend in just enough. Player 2 really saved me by calling out Player 1's generic answers. That was clutch. I had a blast playing it sneaky. Okay, anyways, let's see if Player 3 could have guessed the location. Hmm, that's a tough one. Based on the chatter about heavy machinery, equipment maintenance, safety, and traffic challenges, I'd guess the secret location was probably a construction site, or maybe a factory floor. The stuff about excavators, loaders, and keeping things safe and on schedule really points to that kind of place. What do you think? Am I close? Want to share the actual location? Player three. The secret location was the tunnel. Oh, a tunnel. That makes total sense. Tight spaces, heavy equipment, safety concerns, even traffic getting in and out. I was close with the construction vibe, right? That was a wild game. So, how did you do? Did you spot the spy in game 2 before the reveal? Let us know down in the comments. Now, you might be wondering how three AIs could actually play this game together. Well, it turned out to be almost impossible to make them take turns properly in voice mode. So, instead, we had two of them play at the same time, while we passed their questions and answers over to the third one manually, so it could follow along and be part of the game. As a result, we did some footage editing, but most importantly, each AI was really playing on its own. So what you're seeing is a genuine AI showdown in Spyfall. If you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.